Lesson 1. The Skeletal System. Functions of the Skeletal System. Squeeze your hands and arms. The hard parts you feel are the parts of your skeleton. When you think of your skeleton, you might think of bones, like the ones shown in Figure 1. These bones support your body and help you move. Your skeleton is part of your skeletal system and contains more than 200 bones. The skeletal system contains bones as well as other structures that connect and protect the zone, bones and that support other other functions in the body. In this lesson, you will learn how all parts of the skeletal system work together. Support. Can you imagine trying to stacking, stack jiggling blocks of gelatin one meters high? You would probably have a hard time because gelatin does not have any support structures inside. Without bones, your body would not would be similar to gelatin. Bones provide support. They help you sit up, stand, raise your hand, or over your head to ask a question. Movement. The skeletal system enables different parts of the body to move in different ways. Like when a person kicks a soccer ball, as shown in the beginning of this chapter, bones can move because they are attached to muscles. The skeletal system of and the muscular system work together and move your body. Protection. Feel and your head and then feel your stomach. Your stomach is softer than your head. That hard, hard, rigid structure you feel in your head is your skull, shown in figure 2. It protects the soft, fragile tissue of your brain from damage. Other bones protect the spinal cord, lung, heart, lungs, and other internal organs. Production and storage. Another function of bones is to produce and store materials needed by the body. Um... Needed by the what? Um, boom, um, your body red salt cells are produced inside your bones. Bones store fat and calcium. Calcium is needed for strong bones and for many cellular processes. When a body needs calcium, it is released from bones into the blood. Structure of bones: the blood is an a bone is an organ lived, composed in living tissue. There are two main types of bone tissues: compact spongy. A bone also contains other tissue types of tissues, as shown in arm bone, shown in, in figure three. Compact bone tissues: the hard outer portions of bones are made of compact bones. Compact bone tissue is dense fab of filters, uh, fibers. A long bone, like an, the arm bone shown in figure 3, is made mostly of compact bones, bone tissues. However, in its end, a long bone contains a different kind of tissue called spongy bone tissue. Spongy bone tissue, the small holes in spongy bone tissue make it look like a sponge. Because of these holes, spongy, spongy bone is less dense than a compact bone. A short bone, like one in your wrist, is mostly spongy bone tissues. The bone marrow in the insides of your the bone contains a soft tissue called the bone marrow. There are two types of bone marrow. Red bone marrow is the tissue where red blood cells are made. Red bone marrow is the tissue where red blood cells are made. It is found in spongy ends of long blood bones and some flat bones, um, such as the ribs. Yellow bone mem marrow stores fat and it is found in the longest part inside the longest part of long bones. Cartilage. Have you ever fallen on a hard floor made of tiles and concrete? Um, however, on a hard surface is usually more painful than falling on a soft surface like a carpet, like which, which cushions your fall. Um, a skeletal tissue in your body acts like a carpet to protect your skeletal system. The cartilage is a strong fistful tissue that covers the end of your bones. Cartilage shown in figure 4 prevents the surfaces of bones from rubbing against each other and reduces friction. Periosteum. Um, the parts of a bone that are not covered in cartilage are covered with the proto periosteum. Um, the periosteum is a member that surrounds bone. Um, this thin tissue contains blood vessels and nerves as well as cells that produce new bone tissues. Periosteum nourishes bones and helps them function and grow properly as well as heal after injury. Formation of bones before you were born, your skeleton was mostly made of cartilage. 
Um, during your infancy and childhood, the cartridge was gradually replaced by the bone, as shown in Figure 3. The long bones in children and young teens have regions of bone growth that provi- produce bro- new bone cells. Um, these regions are called growth plates. A growth plate produces cartilage that is then replaced by bone tissue. A growth plate, um, shown in Figure 5, is the weakest part of an adolescent bone growth continues until adulthood when most cartridges have turned to bone. Your bodies, your bones don't not work sh- function independently. They work together at places called joints. A joint is where two or more bones meet. Joints provide flexibility and enable the skeleton to move. Bones are connected to other bones by tissues like called ligaments. When the bones and joints move, ligaments stretch and keep the bones from shifting away from each other. Ligaments connect bones at joints, but they do not protect bones. As you read earlier, read earlier, cartridge protects the end of bones, f- reducing friction between them so the bones move easily. Your skeletal system contains two types of the joints, immovable joints and movable joints. Immovable joints, some parts of your skeleton are made for bones that connect but do not move. These are some immovable joints. Your skull contains immovable, bo- immovable joints. Um, Movable joints, you are able to move your hand and or bend your body because of movable joints. The body's movable joints allow for a wide range of motion. Three main types of movement joints are the ligament and the ligaments that hold them together are shown in table one. Joint joints are ball and socket hinge pivot. Bone injuries and diseases. Because bones are made of living things, they are at risk of injury and disease. A wooden board is hard and strong, but it is enough pressure to up- is applied it, um, the board will break. The same is true for bones. Broken bones, a break in a bone is called a fracture. Broken bones are able to repair themselves, but in a s- it is a slow process. The broken bone must be held together while it heals, plus as hold two glued objects together while glued the dries. Um, Often a person wears a cast to keep broken bones in place. Sometimes the metal plates are screwed like those in figure 6. Head hold bones together um, while they heal. After it is, um, you are able to move because your skeleton bends and rotates. Bends and rotates at joints. If the joints became irritated, it can be painful to move arthritis. Uh, it, Arthritis is a disease is which joints become irrated, irritated, irrat, irritated or inflamed, um, such as a cartridge in joints is damaged or wears away. Arthritis is most common uh, in adults, but it can also affect children. Osteoporosis, another common bone disease, in oster is osteoporosis. Porosis, um, which causes bones to weaken and become brittle. Anyone can develop osteoporosis, but it is most most common in women over age of fifty. Osteoporosis is ch- can change a person's skeleton and cause fractures, as shown in Figure Seven. Healthy bones. One of the best ways to keep bones healthy is to exercise. Certain types of exercise, such as shown in Figure Eight, place weight on bones. The strength bones builds and builds new bones tissues. Without exercise, bones weaken and lose mass. A balanced diet also keeps bones healthy. Bones especially need calcium and vitamin D. Calcium makes bones strong. It is also necessary for cellular process in blood, nerve, and muscle cells. If you do not have enough calcium in your diet, your body will use the calcium stored in your bones. If your body uses too much of the stored calcium, your bones can become weak. Vitamin D is also important because it helps the body to use calcium. The skeletal system and homeostasis. You might recall that homeostasis is um, organism's ability to maintain a stable internal environment. Homeostasis requires that all body systems function properly together. Because bones supply calcium to your nerves, muscles, and heart, a healthy skeletal system is important in maintaining your body's homeostasis. Bones help also help you respond to unpleasant stimuli such as mosquito bites. Working together with muscles, bodies are able to move away from unpleasant stimuli or danger or even swat a mosquito.